What's up guys, my name is Chris Hamilton and I'm here with a review of the Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. Now this lens is on my Sony a7 III and right now the Sony a7 III has automatically detected that it is a crop sensor lens so it has adjusted the crop so that the 16 millimeter wide angle has been dropped down but even with that you know the camera is still very close to me um, right now I'm at f 1.8 uh, this is a very fast lens I'm really liking the way that the lens looks and feels it's nice it's got a nice weight to it build quality is excellent of course um, we're dealing with some really nice uh, touches with this lens it really feels good in the hand and when you're shooting with it or filming um, it really does feel good and give you a really good experience now what I can tell you is that uh, it's definitely giving me like really good shallow depth of field good bokeh and um, I'm really liking the lens on my Sony a7 III so we went to this open house not really like an open house like it was like a appointment only open house but we went to this open house and we were able to go inside of this house. Uh, my in-laws are looking for a new place to live uh, out here in Henderson as they retire. So we went to check out that house and I took the Sony a7 III along with the Sigma 1.4 and I was able to get some really good uh, video inside of the house. Low light conditions, but with this lens with such a fast aperture, it was no problem switching uh, different apertures and being able to keep my ISO at 100 uh, with my shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. So I was really able to get some nice 4K 24 frames per second uh, footage from that. Um, and it was able to, you know, keep it clear and keep it bright, but still keep the contrast of the different areas that we went to inside of the house. So I'm gonna let you guys check out uh, some of those shots as well. Her eyes lit up like she treated yeah, us yeah. like we nothing when we there. Yeah, like yeah. you know you shouldn't be here. Uh -huh. And I'm like, nope, black real talk. <laughs> I put it on the refrigerator. That's all it is. And I took a picture and I sent it to our man. All right, so here is another example of the Sigma 1.4 16 millimeter. Uh, right now I have it on my Ronin RSC. And we're just, you know what I'm saying, just taking a little stroll right now. Um, in body stabilization, I believe the in body stabilization does not work with this lens. I will double check, and, and if that's not true, then just ignore that. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, this is the kind of quality that we're getting. It is getting pretty late right now where I am. Um, so, you know. It's good to have that full frame for the low light. Um, and we're pretty much just checking it out right now. So this is pretty much what the lens looks like in these conditions. You know, if you're going for like a vlogging feel, if you're going for like, you know, the selfie, you know what I'm saying, filming, then this is pretty much what that will look like. Of course, 16 millimeters, 1.4. Um, it's gonna give me so we should have some like pretty blurry backgrounds right now even with like the low lights you can see if I look up 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 I look up and you see the moon so I was definitely considering whether or not I should buy this lens I'm actually borrowing or I'm renting uh, the lens currently right now uh, from BNC photos uh, here in Vegas all right yeah so um, as you know our trip here in Henderson goes on I'm gonna be catching more uh, shots and more film uh, with this lens um, and I'll be comparing it with my uh, kit lens of course which is the 28 to 70 
uh, 3.5. It's not a very fast lens uh, by any means, the kit lens, and I haven't really been able to get great uh, anything out of it from that, but we're going to do some compare and contrast with that lens. So you got the autofocus, of course there's the crop factor because this is a crop, you know, it's an APS-C uh, lens, um, so it does uh, behave a little differently with the full frame camera, but of course we're still getting great images out of it. Uh, this is definitely the go-to for many YouTube creators to grab that 16 millimeter 1.4. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely recommend it if you're thinking about picking up one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're in the Las Vegas area and you're looking for a camera shop, BNC is great. You can rent it from them, check it out, see if you really like it or not. And then if you really like it, then you can go ahead and get it. All right, man. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and share the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos just like this one reviewing the 16 millimeter Sigma 1.4 lens. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.